Welcome back everybody to another episode of Garden Days. As promised, we're gonna make pickles. I'm gonna take you along, step by step, me and Mrs. Garden Days will take you through every step up, step by step. It is so simple. You'll enjoy it. Don't forget, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And here goes the video. Now this isn't all the cucumbers that we've had off the plants, but well, we ate a few of them. But the package says nine to 11 pounds. And we happen to have nine, point, nine pounds, four ounces. Almost nine pounds, five ounces. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of pickles. One of the things you must do is go ahead and wash them. Now, I don't use any type of, fur, you know, spray insecticides or anything on my vegetables, but you know, it does come from dirt and animals and all that stuff. So you need to at least wipe them off and rinse them off as you're, before you get ready to use them. All right, there's a few things you're gonna have to get ready before you get started. We're gonna need a canning kit, just the basic essentials for canning, a canner, and ours is the super large, I guess you could say. We've got a couple towels in here because you always need a towel to set hot stuff on. So you're gonna need your canner. You're gonna need a good pot to make your brine in. And then you're gonna need, now with ours, we're, the first batch, we're gonna do hot bread and butter pickles. So we've got, or correction, spicy bread and butter pickles. So we've got our red pepper flake. You're gonna need white distilled vinegar, 5% acidity. And here, right here is what we use. It is so simple. Mrs. Wages bread and butter pickles. I'll leave a link in the description, but we also use that for our dill pickles when we make them and for all of our sauces that we make. But I'll leave a link for that in the description. We're gonna use our meat slicer because it's a, it's a dial up thickness. We're gonna use it to chop up some of our cucumbers and then Peggy cut some up by hand. Even with new jars, you need to make sure you rinse them out. Make sure you clean them. These are our recycled jars from probably apple butter or salsa or something like that. But you always need to make sure you, you rinse them out. And then we're gonna place them in the oven at, at probably about 180 so they can be good and hot whenever we can, whenever we put the cucumbers in there. All right, now our jars are in the oven. Just go ahead and lay them down because I've tried to stand them up and they just all fall down anyway. So just go ahead and lay them down. We put in 12. I'm not sure how many this will make, but just in case I, I, we put in 12. All right, all we're gonna do now to make the brine is just simply follow the back, of the back instructions. It calls for six and a half cups of white distilled vinegar, 5% acid. We'll put that in. You can probably hear a ranger in the background. And then it calls for seven cups of sugar. We already pre-measured seven cups. Then it, that's it. It just calls for the one pouch. Oh, I can already smell it. It smells so good. All right, let's get us a utensil. Start stirring it up. Put on some heat. All right, now with our red pepper flake, you can or you cannot, it's up to you. We try to crush them up a little bit. 
just so there it goes further for the spicy bread and butter it, it bring out it bring out the flavor whenever you crush the seeds a little bit get some of those oils to release in it and it'll bring out the flavor it turned out to be quite a bit it was like 9.4 pounds but by the time you slice them it's gonna be a lot of pickles all right with the brine you're gonna bring it to a bowl you gotta stir it constantly until everything's dissolved in it you'll be able to tell whenever it's done because all the all the sugars diluted all the spices are broken up and they'll be ready then all right something else we need to do is put a, just a splash of vinegar in your water that you're going to can with it helps with anyone that has like hard water or a lot of sediment it'll keep your jars from coming out frosty from all the sediment all right our next step is get we have to pack the jars with with hot uh pack the hot jars with pickles Let's keep this going. And one then we'll show you the next step that we have to do. Whoa, that's hot. All right, after the pickles are packed in the jars, we're gonna go with one half teaspoon of red pepper flake per jar. Now, while everything's still good and hot, we're gonna take our brine, Give it a good stir and start putting it in the jars. Now remember when you're doing this, it's just like anything else you like can. You gotta leave a half a half an inch of headspace on. All right, now after you put the brine in, you gotta get the air out of it. Just use a spatula and, and circle it around and it'll get the air out of it. With these lids, you bring them to a bowl. Oh yeah, I said bowl. And then you put the band on it and please just put the band on it. That tight, just finger tight's all you have to do. You got to finish filling them up to the half inch headspace. And it's funny because it, as it goes down through your cucumbers, you think you're there and then it'll settle down deeper where you're not. Look at there, I got to need a little bit more. All right, once you do that with all of them, you got to get the air out of them. Make sure there's no heads, no, extra room in there and these will cook down quite a bit then you wipe off the rim these, lit, these part this part right here was boiling on the stove so i know it's good and hot and once again you ring it just barely tight it looks like we're going to have 10 hot and then two regular but we still got a ton of cucumbers to go after all the jars are in the canner you gotta just cover it up according to the directions on the back of the book once it comes to a bowl then you boil it for 10 minutes for pints 15 minutes for quarts and now we wait. <laughs> As you can see, we still have plenty of cucumber. So what we've decided to do is go ahead and make another batch of the brine. 
for some reason, we never have a recipe that turns out right. The, the, the directions will say that you're going to have nine pints of jelly, and we end up with 11, and the same thing with the cucumbers. But the good news is, whatever brine we don't use, we can save it and put it in the fridge in a like a mason jar as long as we're going to use it, you know, relatively soon with some more cucumbers. So we've got it covered. We just have to play the waiting game now. Okay, everybody, we ended up with eight, or correction, ten spicy, and then six regular of the bread and butters. And we have plenty of brine left. As we collect cucumbers, we'll make some more. I want to thank y'all for watching. I hope this helped y'all some. I hope you gave you some knowledge that maybe you didn't have before. If you could, hit the like, subscribe button. It would really help. And we'll see you in the next video.